Grand Rising, Grand Rising, peace, peace, peace. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, kings and queens. This is the High Priestess here. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Um, we're here today to talk about Black Cohosh. Let me cover up the name of the tag. Okay. You see that tag say 999. Look up angel number 999. <laughs> You received this message. This is for you. The angel number is for you. Um, yeah. So, Black Cohosh. First found about Black Cohosh when um, I think I ended up buying a tincture. Ended up buying a tincture and realized that it was for skin. So, it helps with acne. It helps with menopause, menopause symptoms, the night sweats, um, the vaginal dryness, um, stuff of that nature. So, me, I, you know what? I think the most high, I think the most high because I even started about learning about ways or things with um, menopause. My family doesn't really talk about menopause or hasn't said much about menopause other than like the night sweats or being thrown into menopause due to a um, a hysterectomy or something like that. But that was only once I had my partial hysterectomy. But anyways, um, but yeah. Like one of my clients, older clients, she was telling me about the wild yam salve or whatever. And she was basically telling me that, honey, when she used it, uh, that basically she didn't have like those symptoms of menopause. But honey, when she stopped using it, <laughs> they came back on in. They came back on in. So I've been knowing about that. But now it's funny now on a certain platform I'm starting to uh, see it come and be um, popular per se um but yes I've used black cohosh in like an actual tincture I think it was mixed with something I'm not even sure where I got that tincture from but I'd be being led to herbs and be using it and be like hmm this works pretty well. And then when you dive deeper, you find out other things. But, honey, I done had to pull out some resources to talk to y'all about Black Cohosh. Okay, so, of course, it's an alternate to um, estrogen replacement therapy. Um, let's see. Um, it also is used for healing following warts or moles removal. It's all, it also can be used um, for lung conditions, to help treat lung conditions, and neurological issues as well. So if you want to take it to a spiritual level... <laughs> Some people use uh, black cohosh in their floor washes. Not for sure if you're familiar with floor, floor washes, but yeah, uh, I have utilized floor washes and I encourage you. One day I'm going to make a video about floor washes, things that you can put in it, um, your base, things of that nature, right? To me, it's a part of spiritual cleanliness. Um, and you can either agree or disagree, but moving on. You can also use it in your spiritual bath, right? And it says that it helps bring courage. And one of my... Um, one of my sources... Let's see. And then it can also be used to release yourself from old attachments honey right right here it's sounding like um cutting soul ties cutting 
cutting soul ties, right? Um, from people or even old attachments to uh, thought processes that no longer serve you. So with that being said, when you're using black cohage, use it um, with good intentions and your intentions will manifest through the use of black cohage, right? Um, let's see. Oh, and it also helps maintains existing love and invites new love into your life. Now, honey, if you're going through menopause and you're suffering from vaginal dryness, I can imagine why it would facilitate uh, the renewal of existing love and how it can help usher in new love. I'm, I'm going to keep it PG. So I'm going to leave that where it's at. All right. I hope you. <laughs> I hope Black Cohosh brings you to um, the moistness that you need, if that's what you need, um, to the coolness. The releasing of those hot flashes, right? <laughs> and whatever else for my ladies, okay? So, I hope you have a blessed one. <laughs> Bye.